I haven't posted a video in about a month. I haven't had anything to post. So I st stitched three short videos together, uh, sidewalk tear outs, and I put a, a tip in here how to uh, make $3 weed and grass killer, if you're interested in that. And a shout out to two different channels. So I hope you enjoy it. Well, hopefully you can hear me over the air conditioner and the road noise. I'm headed for a sidewalk tear out today. Well, I'm actually at the site now. So I'm going to get out and start hunting. Wish me luck. Well, can you see the old center block on the uh, foundation of that building? I would date that to around the 20s, 30s. And the same with that one. And this one here. And most of the houses on this block are that way. So, I hope I do have some luck. Well, after an hour... Nothing to show for that side except for a little bit of clad. They took uh, the sidewalk away and all the dirt that was underneath it. So now I'm dealing with this. Wait for the rain to let up and hopefully I'll get something on this side. Well, I've been standing here going on 25 minutes now and the rain really got bad. The sewer there was bubbled up, bubbled up. Everything is draining this way. And on down this street right here. Here's a tip for you for some $3 weed killer. A gallon of $3 weed killer. I'll show you how to make it. From the, from the Dollar Tree store, I spent $2.64, I believe that is, or 36 cents for a gallon of vinegar, any kind of vinegar, some salt. You add a gallon of vinegar, one cup of salt, and one to two tablespoons of any kind of liquid soap you got around. That's to make it stick to the plants and grass that you want to kill. You cap it and shake it up real well, and mix it up, and spray it on anything you want to kill. I don't like seeing this in my front planter. I don't want to grow them on, on my back planter either. As well as the grass and weeds back here by where I put my garbage. This is 48 hours later. And it killed the weeds in the sidewalk. Oh, these weeds here are dead too. And here by where the trash cans go. That's pretty dead. These are looking pretty sick. And of course everything's going to look much better once you get through pulling the dead weeds and baby trees out. So for a $3 weed killer, let me know what you think. Better than spending 15 bucks. If you spend six bucks and get two gallons, I know it would have killed everything here. Well, except for the trees. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Well, metal detecting isn't always a good time. <laughs> for sure, I got caught out in it today. Well, that was a wet mess. All I did was, I ended up looking like a drowned rat and right now I'm just showing you on screen what I found that day. I didn't even find a wheat scent. But I'm out here on a, a small tear out. This is a very small tear out. They just did the curbs here. Right here. We paved this street and this is in a 50s neighborhood. 50s, early 60s. And I got right about to here and it goes on down for another two houses, but got right about here, and I found a silver Roosevelt dime. I'll be putting a picture up now and flashing the date and mint mark on it. 
and within a foot of it, I found a weed sap. Pretty cool. Went back to uh, checking the hole, rechecking the hole again. Found out I had another weed sap. So cool coincidence. I got down to this last house on the other side of the street and I got a nice quarter signal right here. I dug and it was deeper than it said at an inch. And it's this. It's an old toy truck of some kind. I'll be cleaning it up and showing you right now. That's pretty cool too. Hello, this is two weeks later. I haven't been having too good of luck. But I'm out in the parkway in front of my house. And I got a signal about four inches deep, and I think it's silver. Yeah, it might not be. Let me check the date on that. Well, it is, but it's pretty beat up. It's a 1946 Philadelphia Mint. Man, it's been rough around here. Hi guys, it's shout out time. I'm gonna shout out two channels today. One is High Tones Honey Badger. You'll see him on your screen here now. And uh, he's got 63 subscribers. His last video was Lucky Charm where he found a Walking Liberty half and a couple Mercury Dimes he was hunting with his family. Uh, the other one is Main Street Part 4 where he found two seated Liberty Quarters. What a lucky guy. The next shout out is for Tennessee Jim. You'll see him on your screen here. He's got 152 subscribers and he is very dedicated to the hobby. He really loves metal detecting and he could use your support as well. Thank you for giving him a look. Well, that's all I've got for you today. So hopefully you, you'll like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, thank you.